Hi everyone, my name's Gabby. And I'm Charlotte. And it may be April Fools, but today's video is no joke. This is by far the rarest 2011 Ford F-150 4x4 you can find on the market. And that's because it's not actually really on the market. It's near and dear to our hearts, and it's a member of our Brantford Kia family, right Charlotte? Absolutely it is. All right, so how long have you had this vehicle? Many years. Too long. <laughs> and today we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of everything this beautiful 2011 Ford. I don't know if you can get it in orange. Use the Google. No, it only comes in gray. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So today we're going to give you a walkthrough, like I mentioned. We're also going to talk about a couple of fun things that this vehicle has to offer and Absolutely. why it is so unique. One might even say the rarest Ford F-150 ever built. As you can see, clearly this vehicle has really been done up to showcase for you guys today. And we do have it up to that brand for Kia spec and standard. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let's start off with the exterior. I got a couple things I want to mention when it comes to the powertrain. And boy, these specs. They'll wow you. They, they'll certainly they wow the you. wow in plow. Oh boy! <laughs> By, um, this video is definitely going to be a hard one to watch, but it's going out there Enjoy. nonetheless. All right, so first things first, body. Phenomenal condition. That rust on the ground, it's real. You can say we put the rust in rustic. <laughs> they really just... Like, whoever says that vehicles aren't a work of art has not seen a paint job like this. Please get a tetanus shot before you test drive this vehicle. <laughs> All right, for the plow itself, I don't know much about them, but this one works really good. Uh, <laughs> it goes up, down, side to side, and I will demonstrate that in a bit. When it comes to the actual powertrain, though, this is where this vehicle really gets impressive for me. So it is a V6. And when this motor or powertrain came about, everyone was like, what? I'm not buying a V6 for my truck. That is... That is horrible. Guys, this vehicle has 365 horsepower, one horsepower for each day of the year. What else could you leap, ask for? Unless it's a leap year. And when it comes to torque, 420 pound feet of torque. And again, that is no joke. I'm not gonna lift the hood cause I don't know if it'll actually open, but take a nice look. <laughs> All right, now wow. coming over to the side of the vehicle. Actually, let's talk about headlights. It's got them. It's, it's got them. Let's see if they work. Guys, it's only gonna get better when we get inside. Oh no, Charlotte, I don't have the key. <laughs> Let me, where is the key? <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. Let's it's give you not like it runs anyway. Oh, look here it is. At the profile of this gorgeous vehicle. Look at those beautiful body lines. And the wipers are functional. It's <laughs> about the only functional thing on this car. You can see we also have a custom windscreen so it has given that nice weathered approach i really mm -hmm. love this design look that they're going for do you Again, remember when crackled nail polish was a thing it's giving crackled nail polish yeah, absolutely it really adds to the whole weathered rustic approach that this vehicle is clearly going for yeah lights some of them are on license plate doesn't have one this one is stuck to our lot it doesn't leave i don't think it can actually go to road speeds anyway so it's probably a good thing all right now i didn't get into too much of the powertrain i mentioned it's a v6 but did i tell you it's also an eco boost that means it's twin turbo and this is actually adapted off of the four taurus pretty cool two really nice vehicles <laughs> often cross shop <laughs> often cross shopped with the kia product <laughs> Um, also, there's a couple of things in this vehicle that Hyundai's own Santa Cruz doesn't offer, and that is something like 11,000 pounds of towing capacity, what? but also the slidey window in the back. I've that's also <laughs> I've never seen a Salter outfitted to a Santa Cruz. Doesn't mean it can't be done, but I don't know. This is great because if you need to spice up your lunch too, you can just run it and add some salt on. Yeah. Delicious. So just good. Just kidding. Do not do that. So good. Other than that, when it comes to the exterior, I don't really have much else to say. It's a very long truck and it runs on occasion. I do want to show you the rear tail light, so let's have a look over here. The crack in the back, if you will. <laughs> here we are. Wow, is that custom? It is actually. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> now, <laughs> When you think of a plow truck, you're often thinking maybe a base or something. This vehicle actually has a lot inside to talk about. So we got memory seats, we got power seats that work sometimes. <laughs> Some of them work. Uh, big bow on the front. I don't know what else to say, Charlotte. Is there anything you like about this truck that I haven't mentioned already? I gotta say, I absolutely love the wheels. Um, beautiful Cor design. <laughs> Corrosion. Like dang girl, those alloys. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I also do wow. like the mirror. 
Come check it out. Uh, someone's asking if this is an EV. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what the EcoBoost is for. Yeah. <laughs> it's the... Um, <laughs> the V6 is all electric. It's six batteries in a V formation. And the twin turbo is, have you heard of the Porsche Taycan turbo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a thing for EVs too now. So, so you guys know. Uh, for the mirror itself, they're power folding, um, oh. but you do have to manually fold them. So <laughs> that makes sense. Also, I had the pleasure of driving this vehicle this morning, bringing it into the video bay. If you're wondering why my arms are so jacked today, it's because I put every ounce of force in this body to turn the wheel just a smidge over to the right. Yeah, it was, I don't think there's power steering in this car. <laughs> I also wanna take a minute just to highlight the mechanisms that are in this vehicle. So it's not often that we're able to give you guys an in-depth look of what goes on in your vehicle's <laughs> tech, but today we could actually do that for you. Those gaps are given Tesla big time. <laughs> All right, let's open up the truck. Charlotte will give you a sneak peek, but actually let me show you my favorite exterior feature first. Absolutely. All right, so check this out. Grab bar, perfect. Yeah, grab bar, very necessary. This is a big step. Um, but here is where things get really exciting for me. Would you buy this car? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not for sale. All right, Charlotte, do you want to take a look inside for our viewers? I would absolutely love to. <laughs> the pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure really is mine today. So guys, we have some real premium <laughs> features on this vehicle and it starts with the door as you can see our dealership has paid to have weather tech window visors is that a necessity absolutely for this bad boy the body panels fall off <laughs> also we have weather tech liners which we know are so affordable and worth it to protect Actually, the beautiful interior of this car i don't think these are real weather techs. oh that that's on brand but <laughs> it's it's the Shein dupe it's from Timu. As you can see, we also have power seats that work sometimes. And you caught it on a good day, because it is working. <laughs> Thank goodness. It would be so embarrassing if it wasn't. One of my favorite features, of course, is that it does come with original manual and your quick reference guide. So when you take this vehicle home, and maybe we didn't cover everything in this video, you still have a perfect guide to do so. Oh wow, it, you can't even tell it's from 2011. You cannot, like this is screaming 2024. Graphic design is my passion. They were too ahead of their time. They were too ahead of their time. Another too ahead of their time moment is we have these lovely compartments here which are perfect for your phone or for your cigarettes <laughs> because we do have a cigarette lighter. Functional. Pairs perfectly with our CD player. You see, this is the tech that we just don't see anymore. And let me tell you, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Can you please let us know about another feature that is so ahead of its time that manufacturers nowadays are just missing on it? Oh, there's so many. We have visors, <laughs> but guys, if you know the Kia Hyundai channel, you know the struggle it is when we have a vehicle that does not have a sunglass holder. Well, this vehicle is overcompensating. Not only does it have one, it's got two for your driver and your passenger, or for your glasses and your sunglasses. Wow. Also, we have a beautiful dark covered headliner because I know Sporty. that if you're driving this vehicle, you don't want to be seen. That's good. Not the four chime. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I'm losing my mind. But I look, really like the um, design elements in the window. Yeah, we've got a little bit of some signature star mapping yep. going on in the windshield. Um, Opposite really, United. <laughs> you can really see the impact, literally and figuratively, that that makes. <laughs> we also have some great storage opportunities in this car. We have a little console down here. I can't believe the Santa Fe copied. Yeah. Man. Ford really did it first. Built Ford Dove. We also have two cup holders, deluxe. And check out our glove box with the gas slip. Vintage gas slip, by the way. Vintage, it's really old. And also, look how nice this is to pull out and how easily you could clean this. You can tell it's literally never been used. You but can put your cigarettes in there. Oh, it's for change, girl. <laughs> it's for cigarettes. 
Uh, we have a beautiful traditional gear shift. Um, unfortunately, we don't have paddle shifters. I really would have liked to have seen that sporty touch, especially in conjunction with the black headliner. Really would have made this vehicle feel more luxe. Mm -hmm. Is there a CD in it already? Mark is asking. Ooh. If there is, what do you think it is? No disc. Oh, darn it. What's Tim listening to? We do have hazards, passenger <laughs> airbag, and you can disable your traction control. Woohoo! Other than that, it looks like we do have dual climate control, so your driver can have one, I can have another, and everyone will be comfortable. Now, I will point out something that is a little disappointing is we do have poverty buttons underneath <laughs> your heated seats. <laughs> so you got heated seats, but you do not have ventilated seats in this bad boy. You have to go up a trim for that. I thought, I was totally convinced this was the top trim. Uh, apparently not. Uh, let's check out the driver's seat, Char. Absolutely, we should. All should right. start it there. Let, oh, I thought that was going to fall right off. Let's begin the nice long walk around. <laughs> you can see we have exclusive F-150 badging. F-1. <laughs> Do you know the zero to 60 time on this bad boy? Uh, 500. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorites. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Can you tell me guys got this detailed for yes. today's video? <laughs> also, you can see the deluxe detailing that we have on our rocker panels, gorgeous. Um, they, yeah, we do, I don't even know where the mat, I don't know where the floor begins and the mat begins, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, if you were ever worried about what the service at Brantford Kia is like, do not worry, each of our pre-owned vehicles do come equipped with a half drink water bottle from, I don't know when, but it comes there in case you get thirsty. Also, you're going to have your mirror controls. Do they work? Sometimes. I don't see it. <laughs> there it is. It's working. It's really convenient. And you know what's even better? It's tied to your memory seats. It is tied to your memory seats, which this vehicle, surprisingly, has. All right. Pedals. Are the pedals adjustable? The pedals are adjustable. I'm so happy you brought that up. Look at that. So you know that this is a deluxe vehicle. Look at the wiring in here. Yeah, the wiring. Um, it also does come equipped with a eject button, emergency eject button. The brake is broken. Which you can tell when you're driving this bad boy. So Which one of y'all broke the brake? So don't worry about that. <laughs> of course, you're going to have your headlight controls. And I love the integration of real dials and switches in mm. this bad boy. So vintage. So vintage. Can you On tell me what these do? <laughs> the car's going to blow up. <laughs> Driver door ajar. Um, I got no clue. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Yeah, it does not have TPMS sensors. If anyone was wondering, um, <laughs> deal breaker for those. <laughs> of course, you have your illustrious Ford badging and your steering wheel. And of course, on this side of the vehicle, you're going to have your media controls. Where of course you're going to have your driving controls. Just kidding. Over here. <laughs> If you want to take a look at your lovely analog instrument cluster, you can see we have a huge screen in the center, also your fuel gauge, tachometer, and speedometer. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I want to redline this bad boy. <laughs> I think we would die. <laughs> it would get to like 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Tap out. <laughs> now, if you were curious, of course this vehicle is available in a four-wheel drive. That's right, it's not all wheel drive, it's four wheel drive. And you're gonna have it set to high or low. Also, it can be rear wheel drive. <laughs> woo, -hoo, woo Fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency. Puts the eco in boost. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Let's take a look at the back seat. <laughs> what is in there? <laughs> oh. That's Once, okay, we didn't need that. It's all about weight reduction. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Premium, premium side, premium rocker panels. You don't see that on any other trim. <laughs> so this is also for the winter. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. It's got rear center vents. Woohoo! You can see we also have a household outlet and a 12 volt. Now that is some adaptive technology for 2011. We also have cup holders. And look at how much headroom I have in this bad boy. Also, wow. <laughs> kayaking. <laughs> you can see that we have so much space. 
And I love that this is a power opening rear window. Santa Cruz couldn't do that. So what do you think is the better buy, Charlotte? Oh, the better buy. I mean, do you want to give them the MSRP on this bad boy? Well, we paid 2000 for it, but what a honestly, steal. I don't think we're not selling it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want this thing. Yeah, we're, no, no, no. It's just priceless. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't make them anymore. They don't make them like they used to, no. that's for sure. I called the used car factory to try to get the same thing and they said sorry. Take that's a look at these beefy and rugged tires. If you are cross shopping the Santa Cruz XRT, which we're seeing in Canada this year, this buddy is going to give you a run for your money. <laughs> this one's got the beef. It's got the beef. If you love a beefy rear end. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, Number lock, it's one, two, three, four, in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we opened the door and we got a new pasture for us underneath the car. <laughs> the built Ford tub. <laughs> Found on road, delightful. delightful. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real nice. <laughs> Let's see what you guys have to say Should about this Should we open car. it up to questions about this illustrious vehicle? Yeah. The boat I mean, is included. <laughs> the boat is included, yes. And it's got HD radio data. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what you guys have to say about this vehicle. I'm expecting there's a lot of love for it. So in our poll, we've had 46 people vote. Most people are voting yes. And 43% yes. have voted absolutely to if they would buy this vehicle. <laughs> oh, yes or absolutely. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So glad we're all on the same page here. Okay, good afternoon. Wait, what? The rust got me. Did they detail it before it comes in? Looks great. Uh, Absolutely, yes. it does. It actually spent like a few hours in detail. We just yeah. want to make sure it's good for the we can, Kia Hyundai You channel. guys can hopefully tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, this would absolutely be good for uh, city driving. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's yeah. incredibly fuel efficient, especially with the added plow. Um, that really drops your... Uh, it increases smiles per gallon, that's yeah, for sure. Absolutely. One absolutely. of my favorite things about this vehicle is you get to play a fun game called When Will It Stop? So mm. when you hit the brake, what nothing happens. Have those? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it takes about three to six business days to actually come to a halt. And like I said, that steering, very heavy. So you just want to make sure you get a good workout in before you do drive this vehicle. Um, it's not meant for the week, that's for sure. No, for sure. <laughs> you got to have a certain strength, both mentally and physically, to drive this. <laughs> Okay. Twin sunglass holder and built-in weight reduction, it's a win-win. It's perfect for us. It really cancels out that fuel economy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ryan said, this is perfect for my next camping trip. I would love to camp in something like this. Absolutely. Just so exciting, so adventurous. So luxurious. Very nice. Wish it had the 12 to 0.3 inch screen option. So you can get that. That would be in the Lariat trim level. Keep in mind, this one is still... Like it's kind of a mid trim, mm -hmm. right? But we like to keep things humble here, so yeah. that's why. We want to show the vehicles that everyday Canadians are obviously shopping for their next family vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> it has car seat anchors. <laughs> yes, it does. All right. Um, Gabby, what's your dream car? You're looking at it. <laughs> what's the warranty on the rust protection? So the rust, I'm very happy to say that it's Protected. always covered. <laughs> until it covers the whole vehicle. <laughs> this is going to be the one vehicle where it truly offers you full bumper to bumper rust protection. Coverage. No, just coverage, it's not protection. Covered in rust. Oh, let's see. Um. <laughs> oh boy. What's the, what's the color code for this bad boy? What color is she in today? Gravity gray. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Ryan would love it immediately. <laughs> okay. Um, this is why Kia needs to make a full-size pickup truck so Kia, Brayford Kia can replace this. Yes. Um, also, I think it's going to be hard because Kia is going to do a fully electric mm -hmm. pickup truck, right? But this is electric and gas, so mm -hmm. that's where things get a little... It's really difficult, but yeah. it's not a hybrid. No. It's, it's electric <laughs> or it's gas. <laughs> or it's gas. That's what those switches do. Yeah. So, so you know. Okay. Um. 
Uh, is this Tim's POV? Tim actually drives this vehicle. And fun fact about it's Tim, daily. It, it, yeah, it's his daily. He's on vacation right now. That's why we had the opportunity to film it. But also, Tim has done a few things with this vehicle. Mm, yes. And I guess you could say it's also like a harvester of souls. Truly. In one singular day, Tim hit multiple Kia souls with this plow truck. So not only does mm -hmm. it crush your soul vehicle physically, uh, if you sit into it, any ounce of life leeches out of you. So you do lose your physical soul as well. He ran into physical our sign with soul. that truck. This is also true. <laughs> Guys, so this is our new truck. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty new truck. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all. We're running out of things to say about this. Well, there's just... I mean, how can you even cover them all? <laughs> Throw in more rust and we got ourselves a deal. You got it. No problem. All right. It's <laughs> also got some really nice dents. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys picked up on that. It's not body lines. It's dents. It's, yeah. <laughs> the more you look, <laughs> the more you see. I will say this vehicle, like, in a world where every vehicle is just boring, they all mm. look the same, it's so nice to have something so refreshing to look at. Absolutely, something and so different. Stand out from the crowd, right? Absolutely. Like yeah. if I come out of the store in the parking lot, yeah. I know no one else is driving this bad boy. That's my car. I'm the lucky girl. Um, another thing that was mentioned to me by the service department today, the plow itself actually drops sometimes. So you'll be driving with it raised and it just drops. I just love a vehicle that's so intuitive. It's so unpredictable. To, to the needs. Keeps you on your toes. Really fun. Um, that's not Dunce and Rust. Dunce and Rust. Personality. Yeah. Yes, it is. I will send this video to Brantford Ford so they can learn a thing or two about how to present a truck. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Will he take 11000 for it? Sold. It's I was gonna say it's priceless, but yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> nope, eleven thousand is the price. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, this does not have the CCNC software in it. <laughs> but it might be available in a future update. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Wireless CarPlay, Charlotte. Yes, it's got it. Yep. Absolutely. Um, it does come with its own satellite that follows your vehicle as well. Harman Kardon um, sound system. <laughs> premium. And integrated front and rear dash cams. Three sixty camera also. All right, let's see. Gabby, who's the 12 year old boy in the white t-shirt with? <laughs> Are they talking? They're wearing a sweater. This is my wife. Okay, let's see. I think that was a real question. The 23 Carnival doesn't have an update. Oh, oh, I have a 2023 Carnival. Can the infotainment software be updated to CCNC? Oh, no. Mm. No, it cannot. Um, let's see, agrees with Gabby. The car is going to look different every day as it sheds weight. Yeah, so there's one of the things, like, a lot of people get worried about their older car becoming worse and worse in the fuel efficiency department. This one actually, Ford thought of that. And every day, another piece of it falls off, and that weight just kind of counter... When you, you know? start off with bad fuel efficiency, it can't get any worse. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. Can you turn the plow lights? I would love to. I don't know how. <coughs> None of those buttons in that car does anything. We're terrified. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to flip a switch and the car's going to explode, so probably not. <sighs> Imagining <laughs> impressing women in a bar and mentioning the sunglass holders. Me it's and Charlotte, too. <laughs> we're impressed. We are impressed. Um, ew. Let's see. Does this car come with salt or is it sold separately? Uh, it, uh, I think we can throw in a bag. <laughs> you can just stop at your local McDonald's. They got free salt. Um, Gabby, will the K4 be hybrid? No. If you watched Charlotte's video last week, you would know this. Mm -hmm. So we're actually at the New York Auto Show last week. Mm -hmm. so go check out our video on the K4. Um, let's see. Can you demo if the plow can plow through the wall? Absolutely. <laughs> Put it through the plow? <laughs> Put it through the wall. Um, never mind. That wall was just recently fixed. It's already had a sea do go through it, and my desk is right on the other side. Um, yeah, if you want a story time, we can do it one day. <laughs> <sighs> is this an upgrade from my 2019 Santa Fe? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Indeed. Does the Santa Fe tow over 11,000? It does not. There you go. Do you have a Santa Cruz? 11,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Um, loving the passenger window. Is that the top model with the air conditioner? You bet. 
Actually, it's not the top model. Four just likes to keep things, you know. Keep things fresh. Valuable, every single trim level got that beautiful air conditioning. Um, is the 2017 Volkswagen V6 Amarok faster or a 2023 Kia Sorento better? This. Um, I'm gonna say probably the Sorento just cause it's better. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Um, let's see. Will this truck be able to handle a power wash at a local car wash or will it fall apart as I drive through? There's only one way to find out. Stay tuned for tomorrow's live stream video where we take it over to our next door Go neighbor. To the car wash. <laughs> um, exhaust loud honk test. Should we start it up? Yes, definitely. Do you think it's going to start? That is. Yeah, that's, I love playing this game. Will it start? Do you guys want to be outside of the car when we start it, or do you want to come inside? Let me know. Right now we're leaning towards going inside, because <laughs> that's where we're walking. <laughs> Chris said, I forgot to ask you if this car turns on or not. Let's, let's see. I also love playing that game. Oy. It does have an odd smell. I will give it that. It does, and that's something you just can't buy. That's earned. All right, you ready? Nope. Oh. Like a kitten. <laughs> Meow. Oh, do you hear that whining? That turbine-like noise? <laughs> yeah, that's the turbo. <laughs> the twin turbo. Guys, don't worry. This is an electric vehicle. This is just the sound that you can select in your settings. Um, this car oh, reeks, <laughs> actually. I'm going to turn it off. It smells we really bad. We can open a bait <laughs> Um, one thing I love about the V6, again, like I mentioned, when they came out with this V6 powertrain, especially because it came from a Ford Taurus, where it was adapted from the Taurus, everyone was like, ew, I'm not getting a V6 for my truck. What am I, a Toyota driver? Anyway, <laughs> um, what's, where was I going with this? Um, I would love to know. <laughs> the pickup, this vehicle, so obviously this one's a little bit broken and not the best representation of this vehicle, but I've driven F-150s a couple times with this powertrain. It actually takes off quite nicely and holds speed very well. A lot of people, this vehicle. you'd be surprised that it's a V6. Honestly, mm -hmm. it performs like a V8, so we like it. Um, horn test, a couple people are asking. Should we be inside or outside the vehicle? Oh, I'm scared. This is your warning if you're wearing headphones. Do you want to take it outside? I hope it doesn't spontaneously combust you and me both. It smells like it will. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. our next trick. Give her. It has no horn. I'm That's pushing. That's really good. Yep, no horn. Yeah, safety. <laughs> safety is number one at Brantford Kia. Safety is standard. Just so you guys know. Well, we're at the 27 minute mark on our, what was supposed to be a 15 minute long video. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> I wish this was a joke. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>